Now in this part of the question, we've got to find an equation of the normal to the curve C at the point P. So let me just run through how we're going to do this, just um, give you an outline first of all. What I'm going to do is just sketch the graph. I say sketch the graph, uh, that's going to be quite difficult because it's quite a complicated equation. But We'll put the point P in, 4, 1. Let's suppose we go 4 across, 1 up. Let's say it's about there. That's the point P at 4, 1. So sketching the graph, well, let's just suppose part of the graph looks something like this as it passes through P. As I say, I can't be too sure of that, um, but I'm not really aiming to draw the graph accurately. I'm just trying to demonstrate what's basically going on. So we've got to find the equation of the normal to the curve at the point P. So that's going to be a, a line at right angles to the tangent at P. So let's suppose that the tangent at P is a line coming up through here like so. So the normal would be a line like this at right angles. We'll just mark in that that's at 90 degrees. Now to get an equation of a line any line has the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where m is the gradient of the line and x1, y1 is a point on the line. So I'm going to use the x1, y1 as this point p. x1 would be 4 and y1 would be 1. So that's looking good. The only problem is I don't know what the gradient is, m. But I can work out the gradient of the tangent at the point P because this f dash x, remember, gives the gradient at any point on the curve. So all I'm going to need to do is work out the gradient at the point on the curve where x is 4. That's this point here. So I'll do that in a minute. Okay. Now to get the gradient m, what we should know is that the product of these two gradients is negative 1. And what that means is that once you know one gradient, the other gradient is always minus 1 times the reciprocal of the previous gradient. Let me just explain. So the green gradient, m, will be equal to negative 1 over the gradient of the tangent. So I'll just call that gradient M2, say. All right. So hopefully we should now be able to go ahead and work out the equation of the normal. So let's start by getting the gradient of the tangent at P. We do that by putting X is 4 into here. So we would have 4 times 4 minus 6 times the square root of 4 plus 8 over 4 squared. And if you work that out, the square root of 4 is 2, so we've got 4 fours of 16, take away 12, which is 4, plus 8 sixteenths, so that's going to be 4 and a half. So 4 and a half, we'll put that down. I prefer actually to keep it top heavy, so 4.5 is 9 over 2. Much better to keep fractions top heavy when you're doing this kind of work. So, we now know that if that's the gradient of the tangent, the gradient of the normal will be the negative reciprocal of this gradient. So, therefore, gradient of normal, that's P, best to just write a little intro there. What's that going to be? It's going to be equal to minus 2 over 9. Now then, I'm in a position to now get the equation of the normal by using this form of the line. So we'll just say that therefore equation of normal at P is all right. So what is it going to be? It's going to be y minus y1, y1 is the 1, equals the gradient, 
which is now minus 2 ninths multiplied by x minus x1 so it's x minus the x coordinate here at p which is 4 now that's essentially the equation of the line and I suppose we could leave it like that uh, it doesn't ask us to simplify it in the question but if we did um, let's say uh, we went for the format ax plus by plus c equals naught where a b and c are constants what I'd want to do is times both sides by 9 first of all so therefore I'd get 9y minus 9 leaves me with minus 2 multiplied by the bracket x minus 4 expanding out the bracket I'd have 9y minus 9 then equals minus 2x plus 8 and then if I want it in the form ax plus by plus c equals naught I think I'd add 2x to both sides so it'd have 2x then would have the 9y and then I would need to subtract 8 from both sides and that'd be minus 17 equals 0 so that's how I would leave my answer but there's no reason anyway just that you don't leave it just like this anyway so hopefully you've been able to follow that and that brings us now to the end of this question